Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm David McCrary, and this is On Edge with real questions and shocking answers. Today, I'm hanging out with Katie Hurst. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to ask some questions, and while we're talking, we're going to be playing a game that shocks the last person to press the button on these handles. The shock gets more intense over time, and we've got a few twists toward the end that makes it a little more challenging. So let's get started. Uh, we've read in uh, by your own self-admission that you spill coffee all the time, and you get a lot of awkward Sadly. moments happen, and you tweet yeah. about them. Uh, tell me about the most awkward uh, moment you've had recently. Do you have an awkward moment that's happened recently that you maybe haven't shared on Twitter? Oh, about spilling coffee. Oh, I'm or so stressed. About anything. Um, um, I locked my keys in my car before a right uh, last week, and I. Ah! Ah, yeah! That's the first time I haven't lost the first one in a while. <laughs> I can't do two things at once. I I'm, wow, this is going to be No, rough. this is good. I'm glad that you can't do two <laughs> things at once. Oh, this is going to be a good episode. <laughs> I got to get better, man. I also, I'm not, like, I don't play sports, so I would uh -huh. never, like, classify myself as competitive. Right. But when I do things like this, I get, I'm like, no, I have to win. Like, I have to. So, I gotta well, get back. Now, now you have freedom to answer the question. I locked my keys in my car um, before, and spilled coffee at the same time, actually. Um, I had a write last week and I, <laughs> I, um, I put all of my stuff, including my keys, my purse, phone, like my iPad with all my song ideas that I was bringing into my right. Uh -huh. I put it all in my front seat and I put my coffee cup. It was actually, I don't know where it is, it's over there. I put my coffee uh -huh. cup on my hood of my car, right? Right. And so I put all the stuff in the front seat and then I was like, oh, I'm gonna squeeze past in between these two cars, grab my coffee and then grab my stuff, but my door shut. Uh -huh. And so when it shut, it was already locked. And so all I had was my coffee and everything, everything was locked inside. in my car, like my phone, everything. And in that, and you my spilled, keys. You, and you spilled your coffee yes, again. so then like when the door shut, the coffee just went and just spilled all over my the hood of my car and me. How many and times so, have you spilled coffee in the past? <laughs> In, in 2020, I would say I've I've grown up a lot. I've I've been doing better. Probably only like four or five. <laughs> no, that's not that's not good. I, and if that's better, that's awful. It used to be every day. So we're doing. I mean, like that's a step up. You know, really like baby steps. Baby you steps. might want to. I don't know what you do to get a sippy cup. I yeah, know. <laughs> it's bad. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so the song, all the things, it's kind of fitting for you because you're into. A lot of things. Everything yeah. from how many majors? <laughs> how many majors did you go through? How do you college? guys know this? Hey, we oh. do our research. Um, I had, I think so? I had four or five. Yeah. 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 So, so that, um, the your music. And I didn't even finish college. And you and you, so. <laughs> you went through all that and didn't even finish. Yeah. What about uh, in your music? You know, Journey, Under Oath, Amy Grant, a wide Wow, variety. you really, did. man, I'm yeah. like impressed. Yeah, we're good. We have no life, um. so we just sit around <laughs> and research. <laughs> yes. Uh, so is there any? Music, hobbies, anything that people may not know that you're really into that might might shock them, like certain bands you're into, or again certain hobbies. Yeah, I think the whole underwear thing, like the whole punk phase. Um, I'm so stressed. Or I love riding horses. A lot of people don't know that. Oh, that's cool. So um, yeah, <laughs> I, I like cannot think. Oh oh, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Oh, you hit it again. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Stay away. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh. I don't know how long it has to. This is rough. Yeah. I am. No, this is man. good. This is the I best know. episode ever. You're having a great day because you're winning. <laughs> <laughs> Although, you screaming is scaring me even worse than being shocked. My arm is like tingling. Um, yeah, no, I. Like, I feel like I don't really talk about that a lot because I don't mm -hmm. do it as much anymore. Yeah. Um, but when I was in middle school, I had a horse for like all of middle and high school. Right. And so I what loved was the riding horse's horses. Name? Her name was Nevaeh. Okay. Heaven spelled backwards. Okay. Um, <laughs> I named her in sixth grade. Uh -huh, but, gotcha. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just like, I rode all the time. I pretty much rode her bareback. I didn't like do shows or anything like right. that. But um, but I've always loved horses and I that's still awesome. do. Like, that's my yeah, favorite, me too. favorite, like, if I don't have anything to do and I just like need to go relax, uh -huh. I'll like go ride a horse or something. Yeah, just, so. is that a thing down here in Nashville? You just, <laughs> yeah, you can go to go ride a horse today. Just, I mean, you gotta pay a, like book who's the money. Okay, but, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. it's like yeah. fifty bucks for like an hour, but wow. you know. 
No! So we gotta bump it up oh! to intensity level two. You talked about your horse being Nevea. You yes. also named your old car, your Honda. I did. Was it Devant? Devante? Javante. Je what is it? Javante. Javante. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and oh. you got rid of her recently. Mm -hmm. is, is Javante, is that a girl? Uh, <laughs> Do you ever wonder if it's a girl or a guy? Car? Honestly, I never thought about okay. it. Mm. I guess it's a guy. Okay. A guy. Well, Javante is a guy's name. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, Javante is gone out of your life. You got a new yep. Jeep. Mm -hmm. But you mentioned that, you know, listening to cassettes of Journey and stuff. Oh, yeah. Are you going to miss that with the car? Or oh, yeah. I can already you do. Get a, can you get a cassette player? You can. I and haven't gotten else? one. Tell me, just tell me about how it's, what it's like without Javante okay. and having the new. Um, well, I can listen to Spotify now, and I That's don't have true. to listen to warped tapes because uh -huh. um, everything would always be like, it wouldn't sound right, and um, I am so stressed right now, I literally can't talk. But, but yeah, it is kind of fun not having to, to like listen to cassettes and listen to whatever I want to. Um, but I don't have to- Ow! That one got me that time. Woo! Did it get you? Yes! <laughs> You're just used to jumping. <laughs> that one got me. I gotta stay, I gotta learn to stay in my seat. I'm the only person that jumps out of their seat. <laughs> I'm just glad I won. <laughs> that one got me good. <laughs> mm. I'm not really paying it. I'm like, I don't know what's coming out of my mouth, but I'm just like looking for that right. green thing. Well, so anyway. Spotify, I haven't listened to a cassette for a while. Now, obviously when you listen to albums, you talk about buying albums, you get that sound, that just that old school yeah. sound. Remember, it's been a while since I've heard a cassette. Oh, is there there's still kind of that sound, like a maybe a it was just sound, my car awesome. player. It okay. was terrible. Yeah, like I'm talking, like everything would be like pitch shifted, uh -huh. like a little, you know, probably like a half step up. Right, <laughs> and, and it's just bad. It sounded terrible, like guitar solos. So uh -huh. I had raised on radio the Journey cassette tape yeah. that, like. Um, I would listen to all the time, and every guitar solo just sounded awful. It was really? like as soon as it got high, it was just so warbly. Uh -huh. It was just like Rawr. so. Then you Spotify, know? you'd be like, "This is all new music." Yeah, I'm like this sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> but I did. I will say, my favorite cassette tape was Amy Grant, um, the one with Tennessee Christmas on uh -huh. it, um, and I listened to that probably from like October to February. Like it really? just Christmas music wow. all I mean, that's, those months. <laughs> I mean, that's a little too much. I know, but it's an opinion though. It, I love Christmas music. See, that kind of leads into the next question I want to ask. I'm changing things up a little bit here. Um, you're into Hallmark movie, Hallmark movies. Okay. Is it the Christmas so, ones? Because yes, my wife only Christmas ones. It's on nonstop at our house. <laughs> but you're into that and conspiracy theory document uh, documentaries. Yeah. Which do you feel are more realistic? Uh, conspiracy theory <laughs> documentaries. Yeah, right, so. <laughs> Those Hallmark For movies sure. are awful. They're, but they're I, terrible, but I know they're terrible. That's the thing. And I used to make so much fun of them, uh -huh. but my best friend loved them. And so she would make me watch them with her. And then it kind of, I was like, See, you know what? You know what you're going to get. I'm you know you're going to be happy. And you know that everything's going to be, it's going to turn out all right. I so. want I, I really want to make, I'm the same way. I want to make fun of them. They're on our house, at our house constantly at Christmas time. But it's like, <laughs> it's Christmassy. And I like yeah. that. And it's just like, I think that's with, with movies, okay, like La La Land, for mm -hmm. instance, like love, like it's one of my favorite movies, but it's like, it is so, have you seen it? No, oh, no, okay. I've heard it's good. It's just, Actually, I've heard both. I've heard people that really loved it, and people that didn't like it. I love it, it's, it's great. great. It's just so like, you know, the, it's very unexpected. Uh -huh. And so it's like, it takes you on this ride, okay? Like you're like emotionally, like, I don't know what I'm feeling right now. Yeah. Um, but Hallmark, like, you know what you're gonna get. Yeah. And you know you're gonna be happy. You and know, it's the same. Yes. It's the same. So there's a little bit of comfort in that, you know? Yeah, yeah I get it, I get but it. But conspiracy theory documentaries, okay, definitely so we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about those right <laughs> Ooh, now. Okay, which one? Um, any one of them. Are there any conspiracy theories that you like, okay, I'm really buying mm, into this. I don't know which one is okay for me to talk about on that. The, the Denver Airport one, have you, do you know about that one? No. Okay, so supposedly there is um, like this whole underground thing in the Denver Airport and um, I... I have heard about the dinner. Ah! Wait! Ow, oh, there! <laughs> <laughs> Why is it delayed? I screamed, but I didn't get shocked. <laughs> well, it's, it's terrifying. <laughs> it is terrifying when it turns green. I don't know what the delay was, <laughs> but I stayed in my seat. <laughs> I think I just like, I don't know why I screamed, but I won. <laughs> you Woo! did win. Ugh. Well, it took a while because I looked at you thinking, all right, I got her. And then it shocked me and it didn't shock you. It just no. scares you. It's no. terrifying. 
I think it's just the like the adrenaline yeah. of like, did I did I do it right? I don't know. But I'll be honest, people are gonna watch me like these are the two biggest wusses we've ever <laughs> seen. <laughs> I'm just a spaz. I'm like <laughs> anything, anything, I'm like, ah, you know. All right, well, here's where we change things up a little bit. Okay. It's time for the challenge round. You have mentioned that you like, or you were shy as you were uh -huh. younger, so you would sing into pillows. I would. Yeah. Yeah, that was my audience. Okay. <laughs> Ross? And yeah. They, but they, I'm assuming they loved you? Oh, yeah. yeah. I was a big hit. Yeah. All right, so here's what happens. Inside here, we have a bunch of songs written on uh, little pieces of paper. You'll go first. You get 30 seconds to sing the song into this okay. pillow. I have to guess what song it is. Who, and then I'll switch, and I'll sing into this. Whoever okay. guesses the most songs doesn't have to hold two okay. handles on this next round. Okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Do you want to go first or you want me to sing first? Uh, you go first. Okay. You go first. Okay, I'm ready. Go. Billie Jean. Billie Jean. Oh. I want to dance with somebody. I want to dance with somebody. Wow. Dance with I am really good at this. <laughs> Since you've been gone, Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that song. I do, but I don't know how to sing it. Oh. Uh, Slim Shady, please stand up. Please stand up. Slim Shady. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, here, I sang it inside, so if you want to sing it inside, okay. just because that's, that okay. side's probably moist from. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Ugh, we don't like moist. Yeah, that was awful. Okay. Right, I... All right. Okay. Sarah Timer. Four. I gotta get better than four. All right. Okay. And I get I get forty five seconds because I'm older. Oh, okay. All right. Ready? Yep. Go. I want it that way. I want it that way. Backstreet yeah. Boys. <laughs> Don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. This journey. Awesome. Oh. Um. Dun 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 dun. I'm just the rain down in Africa. Oh, yeah. Africa! My yeah. uh, Are you looking at this? No. Thing? Would I cheat? Oh. Um. Um. Ah! I took a dun, dun. Oh, I don't know how to sing this song. Okay, oh, no. I get a point um, for that. She doesn't know how to sing it, and she's <laughs> wasting my time. Okay, hold on. Um, <laughs> what was Amish that? Paradise. Amish Paradise. I heard you know how to rap that. Amish, I I do, but I forgot it. Um, I literally, I I can't even think of the first words. <laughs> but wow, how did you know I knew how to rap that? We, Wait, I like. How do you guys know all this stuff? <laughs> We're good. I think I got five. What so... is the first? I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. I lost. Dang it. <laughs> So you grew up uh, watching Miley Cyrus, Taylor um, mm -hmm. Swift, and uh, others, and you know, knowing or wanting to become who you are today. Is there anything you saw them do that you're like, okay, I can't wait, this is gonna be awesome, and then you get there and you're like, oh, this isn't what I thought it would be like. Does that make sense? Is that a weird yeah. question? Yeah. Um, um... I, honestly, I don't think so. I, I always saw them like singing on stage and stuff mm -hmm. with like oh, ow, I it too soon. big crowds. That was shocking. And I, um, I always thought to myself that like that would be so hard. You know, you wait. Oh, you know what? <laughs> that one's being shocked because I pushed it. It shocked me. I set it down, so we were safe because this one went off. Does that make sense? So you cheated. I did cheat. You but did. I still got shocked. <laughs> right? Still got shocked because I pushed it too soon. <laughs> So yeah, what did what did you uh, what did you see growing up thinking? Oh, this is gonna be awesome because of that. And yeah, I don't know. I think I um, I always saw them like singing in front of big crowds, and I thought to myself like that seems impossible. Like uh, I I want to do that, but like I don't know if I could ever do that. You know, and then and now like I don't know. Like whenever I sing in front of people, it's fun. And yeah. I, I think I used to think that like there was no way I could ever right. do that. And um, yeah, I don't know. There's not anything that I, that I thought like. That's not what I thought it was, I guess, except for like, it's not as, I guess it's not as scary as it seems. Okay. Like the whole arena thing, like, um, like when I went on a, a tour last Christmas, last Christmas, um, with For King and Country, mm -hmm. and I was like terrified out of my mind yeah. because it was gonna be like in arenas, there's gonna be a lot more people than I've ever seen in my right. life. Um, but it like, it was fun. It was I don't know, it was like, it was, it was different. Yeah. yeah. 
What? If, let's talk about Caleb, your brother, for a second. Mm -hmm. Caleb, obviously, you guys, from seeing Instagram and Twitter, you guys just love each other, which is good for brothers and sisters to love each yeah. other. Yeah. But he, he's really into, like, making and doing stuff, and whether it's restoring motorcycle or welding or making mixtapes, or uh, he made a bat for you he with the, the nails from, he like, Stranger that. Things. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> is, is there anything he's done for you that, uh, that uh, really you just really will always be near and dear to you. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you talk about them right now. And um, you gotta hold both of those. He made yeah. me this journal a couple Christmases ago. Um, he literally made the paper, he made the leather, and he sewed it together, and um, and it was like the most thoughtful gift, and I... Ah! This one here, this one. Yeah, I'm still shocked. Why would I pick it up again? It shocks for a couple seconds. Woohoo! Man. <laughs> Man, holding two of them is awful. Awesome. Um, yeah, no, he made me this journal and uh, it's like, it's leather. He like went and bought like real leather wow. and like uh, got pages, sewed them in there and like burned the edges of them. Like it's like, it's legit. Wow. Um, and like sewed them into the leather, like all the pages, like it's the most beautiful journal. And That's pretty impressive. Yeah. And, and he just, just does it. stuff like this all the time? Yeah. You know what? I feel like I want to, I want to try holding too. You do? Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. I do. You can do. We got cuz we got one more question. Okay. So yeah, we'll do that. You know what we could do is we just both hold two. We'll okay, do let's do yeah. it. Let's okay. do it. Wow. She's crazy. Uh, what do I press? This uh, one? Are you, you Well, press? calm down, gung ho. I got to ask <laughs> the question first. I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. Right. Wow. <laughs> oh, and I also forgot to mention that the last round we duct tape our hands to it so we can't let go. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh, that is interesting. Does that change things up for you at all? Okay. Nope. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> this hand is still tingling. Like I really, <laughs> I and I haven't been shocked year. in like, you know, a yeah. few minutes. But this is can can Caleb do this? Look at this. Look how. Her, her, her. That is artsy. Yeah. Wow. I'm getting... <laughs> I hate this. Sorry, it's I don't know what that good. was. It's gonna was be good. I'm not. I ain't even scared. Um, I'm ready. Okay. Um, so the last question is: uh, You've said before that the stage is like one percent of your uh, influence on yeah. folks. Uh, you, you've run into uh, Taylor in the past, like in person at a Walmart. Was it at a Walmart? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, your dad's influence on you and his band. What are you hoping, or how do you? plan or in what way do you influence the next generation obviously off stage I mean on stage that that makes sense yeah so yeah how do you influence people the 99 percent of yeah. you in your time okay. how do you influence people you know I think I, I always want to make people feel like they matter and like I never want to make someone feel like they're not like worth my time um and I think if I were to um I <laughs> Good game. Yeah. Good game. So, oh. Are you leaving or do you want to I'm done. Want time to answer that last question? No, no, no. Last yeah. Race? I do think um, I think like I don't know. I always like I always I resolved like when uh, when I started doing like merch lines and stuff, uh -huh. I was like I don't ever want to be someone who just like um, which like again, I'm not perfect at this at all, but like but I don't want to be someone who just like rushes through and just tries to like get from person to person mm -hmm. or whatever. I'm like I want everyone to feel like they are like worth my time right. and like that what they have to say like matters to me like and I want to actually like genuinely care about, yeah. about them and and I even think like um you know with just like say like friend to friend like it is so important to like like if you want to make someone feel like they matter when they're talking to you like like and you're not on your phone or something or you're not like you actually you're like you're intently listening, listening. Yeah. like that I, I feel like says a lot and so that's what I kind of want to like I want to yeah. People. It's good that you like know that. it's more than just the stage. Yeah. That you're on, you're on display for 
of the world. <laughs> you know, with, in, in your position. That's awesome. That's great. I've had a blast. Do you have fun? I had so much fun, except for the last round. <laughs> My hair is going to be tingling for a long time. If you like this content, hit the subscribe button. Is it there? Down there? Somewhere. And you know what? Even if you don't like it, just hit the subscribe button. It's not going to hurt you to hit the subscribe button, and it makes us feel really good about ourselves. Please. And like us. Anything else? And send us gift certificates to Mexican restaurants. Anything else?